Hello Smith Nation. Today's not going to be your average safety video. As a matter of fact, uh, many of you have uh, written to me, called me, and asked me questions about um, the state of the industry. You've asked me about what miles will look like in 2020. Uh, you've asked me questions about current miles. So instead of me answering those questions, I figured today we'd go and we'd bug the president of the company and let him answer those for you. Come on, let's go. Hey Todd, you got a second? I do. Hey, I've got about uh, a thousand people here uh, <laughs> that I'm going to bring into your office with me. I have a couple questions I'd like to uh, like to ask or things that we'd like to talk about. Here recently, I just had a slew of, of blogs that I read often, and they talked about in the industry as a whole, miles kind of slumping off. Mm -hmm. um, there were some reports that came out that truck trucking companies like USX and USA didn't do as well. So I wanted to talk to the fleet about Smith Transport. So what are your thoughts on Smith Transport and, and how do those things that are affecting the industry, how are they affecting us? So Eric, it's, uh, that's a great question and, and uh, thank you for the opportunity to talk to our uh, professional drivers, Todd Smith here. There's a lot going on at Smith Transport. Uh, that we believe separates us from uh, a lot of the carriers that are struggling right now. And it starts with you as a professional driver. Uh, we believe we have the best of the best. Uh, so it starts with you, then it goes to the truck. Uh, we have over 500 new trucks that we've put into service at Smith Transport in the last 18 months. So we have the best driver, now we have the best truck. Now it comes to inside the office here, how we execute on a daily basis. And I'll give you an example of some of the things that's going on right now. Uh, most recently, I was out traveling the last few days seeing customers, and the point of that, of, that, of that trip was to go out and find additional opportunities that would generate miles for our professional drivers. And let me give you some examples of some of those victories. Uh, starting tomorrow, uh, we've got over 100 loads per month that will originate in South Carolina and or Georgia going up to the Northeast states such as New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland. And those uh, all have an average length of haul in the uh, uh, low to mid 700s. That's all starting tomorrow. And for those of you who have experienced uh, outbound Georgia business, North Carolina business in the last 60, 90 days, I think you would all agree that uh, our freight in that market has been a little soft. Uh, so we will fix that starting tomorrow. So uh, thanks for being patient with us uh, and, and allowing us to get that fixed, but we've done that. Another opportunity that we uh, uh, that we talked to a customer about last week that uh, is going to be starting here soon is going to be about 1,400 loads a year out of the Midwest coming up to the to the Northeast and that's going to be a, a really consistent business every day and we think that's going to start here in the next couple weeks if not sooner and that's going to be like 900 mile length of haul business. A third piece of business that we recently just on onboarded was business out of the Northeast going to the Midwest and we're doing about 30 some loads a week uh, right now. And that's, that's about a 900 and some mile average length of haul. So my point is, is that even though the market is soft, cause it is, even though a lot of our competitors are struggling, which they are, uh, we at Smith Transport, uh, we believe in executing on a daily basis, uh, starting with again with you being the professional driver that you are, being safe like you are. It's our job in the office here to find the freight, keep you, keep you pre-planned, Keep the loads coming in and, and uh, we're working very hard on doing that i'm very cautiously optimistic going into the fourth quarter our miles are going to uh are going to be there i can tell you in the last two weeks uh last three weeks uh last week our miles as a, as a company last week were fifty thousand miles greater than they were the previous week and that's in one week so a lot of these things i'm talking about are are have been on board and, and we've only already seen in the miles and hopefully you're going to see it in your paycheck here soon. So hopefully answer, that answer your question. That answered the question. You know, a lot of a lot of individuals, and they hear that, and of course we're in all the meetings and we hear all of the mm -hmm. good news, and and often we don't convey it to Smith Nation. Yep. So by knowing that, I mean, guys, you heard it right there from the horse's mouth. Uh, we appreciate the questions that you ask because that gives us an opportunity to come to the president of the company 
And let me assure you, I am willing to bet that you're not working for a company out there, unless you're working for Smith, that you're getting this type of information from the president of the company. Mm -hmm. That's something to be appreciated. And we're thankful, Mr. Smith, for you and for Smith Transport. And thank, thank you for everything you did out there mm -hmm. to make Smith the successful company that we are.